This is a really in-depth look of what exactly happens in FL Studio if you route one mixer track to another, even if you know well how to make sense and sidechain connections. This video might still offer something new to you, as only a real understanding is the key to many advanced options and features. Hi. First I want to say thank you very, very much for all the positive commands and support and the kind words from all of you. I take this as a motivation to work even harder on this channel to provide you a good learning resource and perhaps you find some inspiration to create great music. Let's get into the topic. It is important to understand that in a blank state with no connections at all, no mixer channel is aware of any other, not even the master, as if they were not present. When looking at patches in and output modules, there is basically the channel isolated. There is a single input, which receives the signal from the FX slot above, and a single output, which sends the signal out of patcher to the next FX slot. And with even not connected to the master, the incoming signal can be processed by plugins, the channel EQ, volume, pan, face flip, width, but it stops at this point. If we want the channel knowing about others, respectively routing any signal to the outputs of our sound card, we do have to make somehow a connection. The first way to mention routing the channel's output directly to your sound card. In this case, the channel output leaves the mixer immediately, is hearable in your speakers, but basically has already left the whole door, as it isn't even present if you export the sound. The exported file contains nothing but silence. The main export function of FL Studio grabs the sound from just one place. Here on the master, before the signal gets sent out to your sound card. But this option might give some trouble with distorted sound and similar. So perhaps you should stay away from it as there are better options to which we will come later on. We should stay whenever possible inside the mixer to avoid running into problems. So leave this option always at none other than on the master channel. To route our audio, we better stay with our second option, which is divided into making a send and making a sidechain connection. To make a send, with the sending channel selected, just click on the little arrow of another. This one-click operation defaults always to a send level of 100%. In this example, we send the signal coming out of the channel to the master. The master is routed to our sound card and make the sound hearable. We can make sense to every channel we like, and if sending one track to multiple others, all receive the same signal. To prevent feedback, the master channel can only receive, and you cannot send anything back to its source. Instead of a send, we can make a sidechain connection. This is possible in two ways. Right-click the arrow and choose sidechain to this track. Or make a send and turn down the volume to zero. This is all nothing new to most people, but to really understand what possibilities this opens up, we have to take a closer look what happens in the channels themselves. With Patcher, we can visualize the process. On the sending channel, if we make a connection to another channel, this receiving channel gets available in the output module of Patcher. Now the sending channel knows about the other one, what wasn't the case before. Looking at the patcher on the receiving channel, we can see that this channel now recognizes too the presence of the sending one. Beside the possibility to be able now to send an audio signal from one track to another, this makes basic operations available, like for example soloing connected mixer channels together. Before, soloing one channel just solos this channel. After, Soloing the sending channel, solos the receiving one too. 
this makes sense, as in most cases you want to hear the soloed signal with its effects. Or, for example, soloing a bus with its connected channels. Alt and left click on the bus solos the connected tracks too. In such a situation the connected channel sends and the bus channel receives. So soloing the sending track solos the bus channel too, as otherwise you couldn't hear the solo track. Looking more in detail on the channels themselves, in every receiving channel the output of the channel which sends gets present in two different places. In the main input, and this is important, always as a separate input too. And here we can see the only difference between a send and a sidechain connection. I have here two sine waves playing in two different octaves. In a spectrogram it looks like this. Making a send means sending a portion of the signal to the main input of the receiving track. And adding a separate sidechain input which is always at 100% of the original volume. Making a sidechain connection means sending 0% of the signal to the main input of the receiving track. and adding a separate sidechain input, which is again always at 100% of the original volume. The only job of the send knob is to determine how much of this signal gets routed to the main input of the channel. So sends and sidechains are the same. Every sidechain can send signal to the main inputs and all sends create a sidechain input too. It's a bit confusing, isn't it? So let's try to visualize it. Imagine this patcher would be a sound card with multiple inputs. Stereo pair 1 and 2, stereo pair 3 and 4, stereo pair 5 and 6, and so on. Imagine now your stereo pair 1 and 2 would have multiple pairs of jacks where you can put your cables in. Each pair of jacks comes with a volume knob where you can set the input level. And now imagine you would connect any hardware synths to this sound card in the following way. Synth A goes into 1 and 2 and additionally to 3 and 4. Synth B goes into a second pair of jacks of 1 and 2 and as well into 5 and 6. Synth C goes into a third pair of jacks of 1 and 2 and as well into 7 and 8. Because of having the input volume knobs for each pair of jacks of 1 and 2, you can now define how much of the synths go into 1 and 2. For example, for synth A, you can set that only 50% goes into the 1 and 2 input of your sound card. For synth B, you set the input volume to 75%. For synth C, you set the input volume to 0. If you now connect the output of your stereo pair 1 and 2 to your speakers, you would hear a mix of 50% synth A, 75% of synth B and nothing of synth C. If you connect stereo pair 3 and 4 to your speakers, you hear 100% of synth A only. If you connect stereo pair 5 and 6 to your speakers, you hear 100% of synth B only. 
If you connect stereo pairs 7 and 8 to your speakers, you hear 100% of Synth C only. Every send we do in the mixer of FL Studio is such a Synth A and B connection, where the send level determines how much of each source we send to the main input. But it is in the same moment a sidechain connection too, with their signals at full volume being present at their separate inputs. Every sidechain connection we do equals to our example of SYNC. Nothing gets sent to the main input, but the full volume is present on its separate input. Or in other words, every sidechain connection we do is just a send where we send no volume at all to the main input of the receiving channel, but having the signal separate. Let me demonstrate this in a different way. I routed a kick to the mixer track 5 and make a send of 50% to track 6, where I got a fruity limiter loaded. I set the threshold that it doesn't do anything at the moment, but it would do if the signal would be louder. See what happens if I put the sidechain on. The compressor is now reacting to input 3 and 4 from our sound card example instead of 1 and 2. The only hearable part comes from 1 and 2, but the detection circle of the compressor reacts to what comes from the sidechain, which would be our stereo pair 3 and 4. And 3 and 4 provides a full signal, which is not affected by the volume knob of the send. Making the same more visible in patcher. You can see, the sidechain signal is really coming from a separate input. The knowledge of how these connections work in FL Studio opens up a whole new world of possibility with the use of Patcher. But this will be topic of the next videos. Thank you for watching.